are excited as youth because it's the first time the maiden edition of the National Youth Convention and youth all over uh, the board and not just looking and not just uh, uh, expecting less but expecting more from the convention that has already begun already but i want to welcome you to the live studio session of the first uh, national youth convention of the apostolic church nigeria my name is jeff tapako here in case you forgot that then feel free to call me the short black dude and i'm so excited this morning because i have a lot of youth all over nigeria there in the I have not even met them before, if I should say that, <laughs> and I'm so happy to have them with me. They're going to be introducing themselves, and we'll get the conversation going to my... Uh, so, guys, good day. Yeah. Uh, indeed, today is the day that the Lord has made, and we are all glad. My name is Emil Essien, and it's good to be here. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I, I agree with what she says. Where we come from, you said okay, that yeah. it's youth from, from all over. Over, yes. Uh, I know when, when I asked for the introduction, uh, I was expecting you were cheaping that. So you can, okay. you can do that. Quickly. Okay, so from Akwaibo territory. Okay, it's not that when all the way from Akwaibo mm -hmm. down to Lagos, we know the insecurity issues, the roads are not too good. Uh, before we talk about uh, the Apostolic Church, how, how was the, uh, the journey for you guys coming all the way from Akwaibo? Down to Lagos, yeah. It was uh, safely down here. There were hurdles along the way. We had some challenges, but indeed God brought us here safely. Expected. Okay. Okay, I expected um, a safe trip. I expected security. I expected a very smooth um, trip from Akwaibu, from New York, precisely. Long trip, you know, on the road. So it was fine, and I thank God for joining us. So thank God for uh, Akwaibu. Territory, no? yeah. So uh, we have a lot of territories in the Apostolic Church in Nigeria that makes up uh, the Apostolic we have the Akwaibom. Yeah, you no, know, somebody is looking at me. Before I continue the mention of the territory, when I said the mother of them all, arguably somebody territory we have um, uh, Akwaibom territory, we have Maritime territory, we have um, Igbo territory, we have Ibon and Dunite. Top territory or territories we have in the Apostolic Church in Nigeria. A lot of people will say, why did it take so long for us to have the first uh, youth uh, national convention? Uh, the thing is, God make it thing, all things beautiful at his own experiences. At least I know I can tell my children coming up that yes, I was part of the first uh, maiden edition of this youth convocation. And I know uh, my, my friends and my brothers <laughs> and we, we are glad to be a part of history. You know, history will have our names mm -hmm. in it and it's indeed a delight to make the people of the Apostolic Church in Nigeria because we've always been craving for that opportunity to have this kind of, you know, convent. And uh, apart from the fact that the only moment that Apostolic Church is fine for us because it is a convention for young people. And it is quite exciting, it is quite uh, interesting and amazing. You also, so it makes us feel special, it makes us feel good. So, I feel good. Yeah, I feel good too because uh, from what we have uh, planned for us as youth, we are going to be taking charge uh, totally of the convention. There's no intent that will be given to us. Well, I just pray that we don't, yeah, we don't misuse it as youth, we utilize it very well. So that the fathers see that yes, they are proud of their children. No, uh, one thing about uh, the territories we run our, our, our youth movement, youth conventions, uh, I would like you to share with us uh, what are some of the, how, how does your youth movement uh, or conventions there, how does it go in? Uh, and, you know, um, experience in the different territories. I'm talking about what people obtain, where they are, you know, where they are from. So if you come to Akwaibom, the social realities in Akwaibom are different from what you probably obtain in the Lona axis. Uh, so the church made it so good that the youth movement, of course, right from uh, when it started, when we had the go ahead, uh, we had um, youth movement. It was, uh, back then, it, it wasn't quite uniform like it is now. But then the good thing that was that we had a youth movement. And the youth movement activities, the way they wanted, and um, it was also so good that uh, it was quite flexible. You could have the youth choir, you could have as much as, as we, or the way it fits um, your environment. And so it was fine. But so when we had the national endorsement, I should say, on a foundation that already existed, 
So a Bible, of course, went on. This we have group Sundays. Uh, we have uh, the weekly meetings. We have uh, every other structure, basically. It's more or less the same thing here. Yeah, but the, the, the first issue we are having uh, at this part of the, the world was uh, the fact of uh, uh, witnesses movement mm. and youth movement had to uh, uh, merge those two movements mm. together on, on sets a few days ago. We tried to clarify that issue. So that was one of the issues we have a lot of, uh, we were told and we were explained to that yes, the witness movement consists of everybody. You can be an old person. It's basically for us that has that agility. So uh, that's what we uh, we are taught, and after having done it for, for youth uh, services, and we, uh, the, the, the authority tend and try as much as possible to give us the free hand mm -hmm. to handle that third Sunday to assess and the progression we are having. I like the support from the fathers, giving us that plenty of experience, like uh, regards youth movement in, in, your, in your area. I think you should be precise and ask about the sisters. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's we just there. You know, we have differences the elderly, the married elderly women, uh, mostly pastors' wives. I can't even think of young girls like <laughs> us or like myself being a deaconess. And which one, where else would we serve? Okay, we have the choir, but then with the advent of this youth of different avenues, we even have sisters, leaders in the youth movement. And I have a personal experience. In my local assembly, uh, the last youth Sunday we had, we had a very innocent, really, at this debut we've had all these years and we've been, you know, the figures, I think it was about over 30 persons actually gave their lives to Christ that day because of the impactful sermon, we had a prayer session. I can already foresee how it will be in years to come. Yeah, that is, that is true because we know the first time we had uh, the maiden edition of the Lona Convention. I don't know if you had that in your territory as a territory, a youth movement convention today. Okay, uh, we have actually had uh, a we had we've, we've had a conference, we've had an, an end of year conference as well. But um, in uh, we'll come August this year, we're going to have, of course, the first. Uh, yeah, that is, that is a good one. Uh, before I know we have a whole lot of expectations as youth and people watching us are out there. They have their own expectation. For, for, for the convention because we, we have a lot of viewers watching from all over the world, from Turkey, Germany, expectations on what we expect at uh, for the convention, the main convention. I want to uh, tell people out there, or youth out there, that then the insecurity issues we have in the country as a reason, and even on the planned protest for June 12, which is tomorrow, the Democracy Day, to uh, let go of that talk because uh, pretty rather they are in the building, they are in the uh, compound taking charge of security issues. And above all, we have the, uh, the come here, uh, it's, it's scary because of the insecurity issues. If my friends all the way from the choir room can make it down here, uh, believing that God will keep them security issues, know what is happening in the country. Uh, uh, for, for, for you, I know I, I, I've made a point, but for you, what do you have to say for uh, about the use of, to the youth? that uh, have that mindset of uh, that, that, that fear factor in them because of what we are having. Uh, most of what we have as uh, insecurities care are the empty, uh, wake up in the morning and have broadcast messages on, 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 on WhatsApp uh, talking about perceived threats that, you know, this one is outrightly untrue. Now, this, it's not about what we hear, but what our convictions tell us. We, we cannot profess uh, Christianity, we cannot parade ourselves as believers of God and not show in faith, or not show by faith of faith that we had to uh, come here from our Bible. And we, we came by land, we didn't fly. We came by land, so it, it showed that we came in case of, uh, oh, it almost happened, nothing like that happened. So we had a very smooth uh, drive, was a fought to hold on to their faith. And uh, of course, not forgetting the fact that they should always watch out and be mindful and be security conscious. Of course, peace those who run to or those who may become tools in the hands of the devil. So when we are that conscious, we be able to balance our faith and caution. So I think uh, that we 
uh, uh, we are we are we are believers of God. So we need to we need to take out the fear in us and believe that we are secured in Christ Jesus. Right about now, I want to take a short break. Oh, right. Oh, right. <coughs> uh, yes, 